Hello again, everyone. <laughs> That's not detecting my controller. This will be the third attempt at a Sunday stream. I've just restarted my computer because I kept getting the out of memory in my video uh, card for some reason, which is just, just glorious. Um, it's not detecting my controller. Cool. One moment, please, while I figure out which uh, USB port my controller is plugged into. I think it's this one. No, that's my headset. This is it. Uh, no. Bueller? I am having all kinds of technical difficulties. Apparently I shouldn't be bothering to try to stream today because we're just running the gauntlet of what can go wrong. It appears. Um, which sure is great. Finally don't have a video card error going on. Now my controller won't work. And I've lost my mouse. Check the controller. There we go. All right. We're good. Hopefully. There's no video errors going on. The controller is connected. <sighs> Everyone video thingy isn't like flickering boy uh that is this is not how i wanted the stream to start because part of the reason why i'm streaming uh today is because i wanted to get my mind off of being annoyed so this is doing all kinds of wonders for that isn't it i suppose i'm uh less annoyed at what i was annoyed at and more annoyed at my computer doing things and also reconsidering if um I shouldn't take my brother up on his offer to uh, to put together like a computer on stream because him and I were talking before. I think we were talking maybe a couple weeks ago on stream, actually when I was playing Remnant with him, that um, upgrading could be could be kind of fun to do. So maybe I do need to uh, to upgrade because apparently whatever I was doing before I restarted my computer used up. <laughs> all the RAM inside my uh, my video card, which is strange considering there's eight gig. So I don't know what was doing that because it wasn't doing anything particularly interesting. But yeah, um, I actually thought about playing Celeste today because that is, uh, have I been here before? That's kind of my, my go-to thinking out loud game, but since I'm not really doing any story progression today here, I figured I would uh, I would do this for a bit. So now this is running and it's not exploding, so I'm going to risk it. Where's, why is my mouse disappearing? Oh my god, Remnant has locked my mouse. Okay, I can work around this. Um. I think I can work around this anyway. I wanted to get into a into a Discord VC in case either of my friends wanted to join me. But um, my mouse is locked into the game right now, which feels very strange to me. Um, even though it's windowed mode, which is extra strange what do you think um what do you think this means anyway um i really would like my mouse back is my mouse not plugged in is that is that what's going on my god there's no way, right? Like my mouse is, my mouse is working, right? No, my, okay. It's weird. There's, there's a light on it. <sighs> Christ. Which, 
one are you? There we go. The mouse is working now. I swear to God. Having 15 million issues. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Just gonna send a note to my two friends in case they want to join me. And in the meanwhile, we'll explore. Um, normally, Celeste is my game of choice for uh, thinking out loud and sorting my, my thoughts. But today I figured that since I'm not doing any story progression, that I would go ahead and kind of work through this instead. Um, Sorry, I just realized that if anyone does join, I'm not going to be able to hear them because my um, audio slider for Discord is a little on the low side. So just adjusting that real quick. And now we are good. And something is going to come to try to murder me, I'm pretty sure. So I should probably stop clicking around and instead consider actually playing the game. Um, but yeah, I went to a... I went to a barbecue yesterday. It wasn't really much of an actual barbecue. It was more like we planned on doing a barbecue. And then um, the weather sucked. So we, we just made hot dogs and sides and had sliders and stuff. And my friend actually had like a really interesting recipe for a um, like for turkey sliders that his wife's mom gave them, I think. Where they like make they like brown off the turkey burger or the ground turkey stuff beforehand and then it goes on to the rolls in the middle with a mix of ketchup mustard and mayonnaise and probably some cheese i think and then it goes all that goes into the oven as like one pan of tasty looking sliders and stuff and uh, it was really good actually um i don't know when i would make something like that because i don't really have people over for sliders that often but it is uh it's cool Ooh, is this a trap No. There's are some funny symbols on here though. Hmm. Oh, whoa, hello. I think I've interrupted his stroll. Oh, good, we both thought to melee. Oh, hiding right there, huh? You know what, that's fine, I can one up one hit kill you. Oh gosh, having to reload. Why can't I move exactly? Um, I don't really want to deal with you and the archer at the same time. If I can't help it. But I mean, I would like to know where he is. Really? There we go. <sighs> that was something. Ah, he's he he lost his body, but came back just as strong. I feel like I just accidentally killed all my friends. Sure, my little crab guy's got it beforehand, but also holy! Wait, 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 wait! That that guy's huge. Is he supposed to be that big? Come back! I want to shoot you.
like he is massive. Mantagora. Ho 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 ho. Thick skin and empathy. I Oh wait, isn't empathy the thing that um who was it? Cyanide was in his username? He mentioned. Oh god, I'm gonna get root rot. Okay, hold on. Where's my anti root rot ring? It's it's green, right? Yeah, here we go. Good. God, he's he's so huge. It's like Mothra. I love Mothra. <laughs> Mothra's my favorite uh, monster of all the all the dudes in the Godzilla universe. I used to watch Mothra vs. Batra. Or I guess it was Godzilla vs. Mothra, technically was the name of the movie, but it had Batra in it. Uh, where'd he go, girl? Just waiting for it to, like, die bomb me directly from above or something. I'm hoping that he'll come back to try to murder me a little bit. Oh, there you are. Nice hit. Ouch. Rude, sir. Is he like dropping poops on me? What's he? Oh, yeah, yes, he is. Adam. Oh boy. Okay. So that's good. I'm, I'm avoiding using my dragon heart in case you were like wondering what the heck I'm doing with such low health. Because I think. Wait, what's this? Oh god, I can't read that right now. Um, I think that Cyanide said that empathy means they heal at the same time as you do if you use your heart. So I'm just going to try to rely on my skill instead, which means just kind of waiting for the cooldown. But I think given that he's not like super aggressive that I that I should be okay. I think. Oh, he's down there. That's not his weak spot. Yeah, I, I, I don't like getting... It's one weak spot hit. Okay, wait. Oh, there he is. We're just slow and steady over here is what we're up to. Thing is, if he dies, does he drop something? Like, am I gonna... Am I gonna miss it if I'm not careful? If I don't kill him, like, when he's directly over me? Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. Like, all gray health right now? That's fine, though. My, my thing's almost back up. close unless he's like being sneaky he's not being sneaky is he this is when having the hunter skill would probably be handy not that challenger isn't doing me a, a world of good right now keeping me alive but I hear violence. I think he's dropping bombs on me again, yeah. Oh, 
roll, roll, roll your boat. Oh boy, he's going for the hug. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, wait, he's above me. Get back here, you. Wait, why did that damage me? It's just the cloud. I have a rot ward on. Why did that do damage? Can I see him over here? He's so close to being dead. Did, is he... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got him. Oh. <laughs> New mutator momentum. What does that one do? When this weapon scores a critical hit, it increases critical chance and critical damage by 1.5% for 3 seconds, max of 10 stacks. That doesn't sound that great. Critical hits from this weapon add 2 stacks, increase duration by 2 seconds. So you could, maybe with the right build, you could uh, make it so you like continuously crit with the, with the right setup there. I mean, it could be good. It could be good. Okay, which way was I going here? <laughs> was I going this way? There's a path. See, for a minute, I thought that... Um, here, why don't I just use my dragon heart? Um, I thought that it was just a glitch. Like, you know how in Subnautica there was a glitch where certain enemies would just, like, would, like, scale and become massive for some reason? I thought it was one of those affecting just a like normal dude. So it's a little bit surprising when it was actually a uh, angry lad. Um, how do I get to the other side of this? Can I just wait? Hold on. Does that explode right there? Yeah, it does. Smart. Oh, I do not have a lot of ammo, though, do I? For, for my rifle, I mean. It almost feels like it would just be worth it to hit the checkpoint real quick, since I really haven't gone that far. And the enemies we fought have been too crazy. Then again, um, assuming that those enemies weren't just part of that fight, then... Maybe I've cleared out a good enough amount of the enemies that I don't have to worry about it as much. Possibly. Big maybe. Okay, this is probably just like a jump down from there if you want it. Wait, what do you mean here they come? Where? From whence? Hmm. I don't suppose it's open, is it? Nope. So we gotta go the long way around then and then open up a shortcut. Not so bad though. Kind of cool. I, I, I kind of like that. That almost looks like... Eh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Never mind. Though this does make me question if I should hit the checkpoint, though. Go. I'm going to go up here first, I think. Seems like a good idea. Did I just see someone... That's another archer guy. Oh, I don't really have the right ammo to deal with him. Uh oh, there's a second boot noise. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Okay. The 
There's a hole there. I didn't see that. And there is no auto jump, I guess. Like in Zelda. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, at least I wasn't that far, I guess. Still, does that mean I don't get the Luminite Crystal, though, for being that guy? That sucks. Ooh. Great. More bad news. my crabs. Ooh, new uh, relic fragment. Stagger damage. No, not cracked, not ordinary, just stagger damage. Oh, it's ordinary. Plus 3% stagger damage. Actually, um, the doctor, <coughs> Dr. MF Tran, really, uh, he shared a video with me earlier. Actually, in the core for Discord, if you're in there, in the general chat. Of someone just using the flail with like a ridiculously high stagger ratio and just like bopping an enemy over and over in the head and just walking to murder them it's kind of funny <clears throat> her imperial eternity honors me with a heavy task with each passing 10 10 day the consumption those false saplings that despise the balance and devour all the breathes devour all the breathes grows in from force and frenzy her permanence has confided unto me the existence of an ancient palace, perhaps older than the Red Widow themselves, that safeguards a number of relics extremely valuable to the pun. It must be found and safeguarded. The Eternal One would not say what these relics were, nor why they have been why they remained buried to the ages for all this time. I can only imagine that my lady Empress thought them safe from any trouble Yesha yet might bring. But now the consumption is not of Yesha. I fear it is trouble that is beyond even the beast and doe. I must leave soon. Alright. Oh wait, there's more. The jungle is worse than I knew. I've traveled for nearly ten days and not yet reached the outskirts of the Imperial Gardens. I got my way to avoid the consumption. They are everywhere. Stalking, destroying, is going to bounce every turn. It sounds like that right there. Let's travel and stealth far from path and stream. Okay. Reach the holy gardens, breathe the jungle's breath. Uh Garden is unkempt. The consumption is in the gardens, not yet in force, but I've seen evidence of the false saplings passage. Scouts perhaps they help me with this for their own guard. At long last I found the palace. It's glorious, the jungles were claimed with the phantom maid, but its beauty is undiminished. If anything, the balance made this much more magnificent. Alas, the only ingress I've yet found is closed to me. I have no key. Could a permanent neglected to inform her most transient servant? She trusts me to do sort of two things as needed, and I must not fail her. Okay. The ancients must have left clues or marks on these held grounds. Surely her promise not abandon me to over his folly. Must keep looking. The only road to failure is surrender. Okay, so there's some kind of puzzle here probably to open up that uh that gate. I bet you it has to do with those uh, things that I saw. Um, I wish they were facing me. We'll just go hide behind this rock real quick. Oh, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. We win this fight. Okay, there's two of them now. Not so sure anymore. No, no, no. I need to kill the little thing. Oh boy. There we go. That was very close. Okay. 
Go ahead. Pop up. Beautiful. Okay. So, not part of the uh, fight against the thingy mahoos that we did before. They're like a normal part of this area. I don't think I can make that jump. Be cool if I could, but I don't think that I can, so. I mean, is there something there again? Haven't I already got, oh, I guess I didn't get this one. Just not, ooh, this looks important. Oh. Okay. I hope it's not like the same pattern as the other place was because I don't remember what that pattern was. Mainly because I identified the symbol and then, uh, then my friend input the code. So he would be the one, if any, to actually remember what it was. So, not great, um, but at the very least, we'll probably figure something out. So antlers is maybe one of the things, I guess. I mean, if we, we'll, we'll try to find the actual puzzle first before we try to theorize what it might actually mean, I guess. Okay, so... This is near where I was before when I died. That's a lot of those guys over there. Cool. I preemptively dodged and that was not a not a wise move. Ouch. All right, something violent's coming my way. I was trying to make sure it baited it into that. It kind of worked, um, but I don't know where the, oh, there you are. Good. Ah, oh, damn. Go find him, buddies. Yeah, get him. <laughs> it's over. Better than any, like, heat-seeking moisture missile that's on the planet, that's for sure. Actually, that's literally what these guys are. <laughs> They're moisture missiles, as it were. All right, I see something I want over there. Now it's just a matter of getting it. Um, you can, okay. All right, this probably goes up and around, right? I hope. It looks like it would. Here they come. Hi, how you doing? Rude. There's so many of you. Like, why? Why are there so many of you? That's my question. Go up here, maybe? For a second, I thought I saw an interact symbol. Ah, it's probably an easier way to get here, isn't there? Okay. 
Oh, so this... Oh, no, I'm looking at the same door. Okay. For a moment, I thought there was another, like, entrance somewhere, which would have been interesting, I think. But for now, keep exploring, I guess. I just hope that whatever puzzle is here isn't, like, too confusing. Just because I am not a, uh, not a clever man. I mean, I can be clever on occasion, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't call myself clever. Not with the amount of dumb stuff I do, so. I wonder if... If this will be a situation similar to um, that other area, where we found a dead body of a pan who had a who had a key that we needed, maybe we'll find something similar. I just saw you up there. Should help. Yeah. Oh boy. Coming out of the woodwork, huh? So far, so good. Oh. Angry pan lady, sounds like. They could speak, so. Yeah. Ow, ow. Ooh, that, that was a lot of damage. Well, tell you what, lady. I'll light you on fire. Oops. Thank you. What are those things called? It begins with an L. Like, it wasn't like layman. It was... At least that's over. Or maybe it was. Was it layman? Lemire, maybe? It's it the, just like the same kind of priest dude as the uh, as the one we helped who was stuck inside the root nexus. Even if he is glitched and he doesn't actually say his post battle lines anymore. Ooh, my right leg is very asleep. Very strange feeling. Purple. I swear you come here, I'm gonna hit you in the head. Don't you do it. Heart of the wolf. Increase max stamina by 25 and movement speed by 10%. That's pretty nice. That's a, that's a pretty nice one. Okay, we've got more lads. More stuff overall. Um, but before I continue my advance... Might as well finish off this other path just to make sure there's nothing been missing. I would have missed something over there. All right, cool. This isn't looking good. Looks like it's a trait, or um, yeah, trait point. I feel like I lost that battle. <laughs> Damn dear. Dang dear. That's just a normal bunch, yeah. We'll just uh, get them some friends to work with while I head over there. It's just death. Ooh, hello. Not just death. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Huh. Is this the path that killed me before? No. It's weird. It says it's like not the uh, fog of war. But I don't think I passed that before, so. Ah. Tool of knowledge and a bunch of dead bones. I wonder if this is the guy. The one who wrote the book. Just like hanging out on the edge, like thinking about his life before dying or something. Uh, point wise, I figure I can probably keep putting it into revivalist. Though. I'm so curious about this. Because, like, normally when I'm running Hunter, I get those two levels as some kind of bonus, it seems. So, would it go up to, like, level. 12 like a fake 12 and get even further pushed or would it just be capped it's probably capped given how uh not friendly this game is sometimes but it'd be cool if it wasn't then it'd be like etrian odyssey where like technically skills go up past their max level so the or Etrian Odyssey one, like so that when you boost, it adds like five levels, I think, to the skill. I played Etrian Odyssey 2 pretty much a whole night. Like, I fell asleep playing it, then I woke up and would play some more, and then I'd fall asleep again. Because I was doing this really irritating quest in it, where you had to walk back and forth for three days and three nights. It's like, survive on the fourth fourth survive on the fourth floor of the labyrinth for three days and there's no healing uh, area like there was in the first game when you had to do one of those quests right. though thankfully it was only um it was only three days and not five i think in the first one all right they're all sufficiently wounded You son of Yeah, I see you. Okay. I feel like the flyers are somewhat more dangerous than him because like he's pretty slow and like very choreographed so he's really not that bad to fight it's just when you have to deal with multiple enemies and him that he becomes a problem Are there actually enemies over there for me to fight? Oh no, I guess that's... About, okay. This is a big area. I wonder if there's a checkpoint somewhere. Given how big of an area it is. I hope so. If not, then uh, it's going to be a heck of a backtrack. Uh, let's take the path less traveled, maybe. Face of danger. That was a waste of a bullet. What does that do exactly? Oh, that's the last one. Using a relic within 10 meters and against two stacks of bulwark. If I remember right, Bulwark is basically damage reduction. I believe that's a lot of enemies. I'm 
trying real hard to, to melee them, but it's not working too well. Yes, come to me. Flying Nimbus. Good. That's what we call ammo conservation. Get him. Why didn't that do any damage? That was strange. It should have done damage, right? I wonder if maybe he died right before he hit him. Because they do have like some degree of amount of time that they're alive for and then they disappear, so. Oh. I'm gonna assume that that's not safe to jump to. Okay, that looks important, whatever that is on the map. It looks like there's the entire section of un unexplored goodness over that way. So... Okay, that's just a connecting path. I do think places like this are cool. Like... If it wasn't for, um... Like, you know, just the the crime and all the other things and whatnot. I feel like South America would be a really cool place to visit. Um, because there's like a lot of a lot of interesting history there. And a lot of interesting ruins and all sorts of stuff. That feel like, you know, probably some of the inspiration for this stuff was in that. But um is this gonna like murder me or is this an elevator? Oh, it's an elevator. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get off at that point up there at some point. Probably my way down, I guess. A Slayer's Crest. Increased melee damage by 25% when attacking enemies from behind. All right. All right, good. Sorry, just Xing the thing out. I wonder, would that combine well with uh, Stalker? Or, um, no, Shroud is, no. What is the name of that one? Um, it's the Hunter's thing. Oh, wait. Wait, I can definitely roll out of that. Come on. Let me let me do it. Also, I wonder if there's something underneath this. But he said roll. Wait, really? Really? You can't That is legitimately surprising that you can't do that. Like it won't let me uh get out of this. Strange. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let me just check one final thing. With the elevators. Oh, there's symbols on it. There's symbols on it. Okay. I wonder if they matter. And more importantly, <laughs> how do I make a note of them all? I guess if I get farther away, I'll be able to see him a little bit better, right? Yeah. Kind of. So, I mean, there's the on button of a, of a computer. There's the Tower of Sauron. Can't quite tell what that one is. I don't know what that one is. Um, but, I mean, I do half expect them to, one of them to be the antlers given that, you know, that's what we saw before at that other place. Huh. All right, well, I'll uh, try to keep an eye out. Oh, there's a bell up there. Hmm. 
I think I just pissed something off. I think that should... yeah. Some, some nice numbers. Oh, what do you mean, Paxo Deck? Where, where? Oh, God, there you are. All right, here, tell you what, meet my friends. Enjoy. Here you go, people don't deal too well with fire. Why are they so mad at me, though? <laughs> like, I didn't do anything to them, what the heck? I mean, I guess just being here counts as a sacrilege to them, probably. But, but I'm recognized by their eternity. By their, like, queen empress thing, so. Really. Very satisfying. Okay. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come here. I know you can teleport. It's like, once you know their tricks, they're not too hard to deal with. Be sweet to land the uh, this move on one of those. That that'd be very satisfying. I think. Would love to do it if given the chance. Whew. That was a big explosion they just had. There we go. My little buddy's got him. Really, another one? Wait, is this one... Are they corrupted? Got him with the fire. Burn, baby, burn, ba 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 Thank you. So... Oh, there's a path this way. I'm gonna go this way first. Because it looks less interesting, I guess. Although it looks like it just connects. Yeah, they, they both just connect. Again, this is... This is definitely like one of the bigger areas we've been in, for sure. Why, why, why? What's there to shit about, ma'am? It's just like one enemy. Ain't that crazy? Two enemies. Oh, it's the deer. Okay. You can understand getting mad about the deer. They do tend to run into you. Cool. Provided I don't accidentally jump off a cliff like I did last time, then this probably won't be too bad. Okay, let me go around the other way. Okay, there's some goods over there. This is really all that's over here. Not that I'm, you know, upset about getting hardened iron. Just kind of expected there to be something more. Is 
I think I can get a good shot on this weak point from here. Yep. Good miss. Bloop. Okay. So do the symbols really mean nothing? Because I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if they do. Given the diary found that talked about it and everything. And actually we still haven't opened the door itself, right? So there's still at least one thing to do here. Just a matter of figuring it out. Oh, oh cool, there is a checkpoint. It kind of feels like it's a little close to the other door, but I suppose it's fine. Um, I'm going to get my checkpoint updated first. I'm not going to actually sit because I don't want to respawn the enemies. But I'll at least do that real quick. And then uh, I just want to see if there's anything here. No. It's just a more direct path, I suppose. That's probably like slightly more dangerous overall, given the number of flyers and those kind of things around here. I'm not gonna lie though, I will be like a little bit on the disappointed side if um, if that door is just like blocked and you just have to like you know move a stick to uh, to open up the shortcut. Not that I'm going to be too upset about it, I guess. Oh boy, I see you, Archer. I don't want you to see me. I don't want you to see me. Okay, good. Handy. Okay. But, you know, like I said, the, the journal implied a puzzle, so I'm like braced to put my thinking cap on and make you all cry. I hope that he teleports closer to me. <laughs> Thank you. next to me. <laughs> I know it's behind me and he's trying to be clever, but maybe not his like, brightest move that he's ever done. I mean, it's the last move he'll ever do, so. Okay. Could I make this jump? No, I mean, this this connects to there. It looks more like I should be jumping from over here, if anything. But that's that's not gonna work. So there's a different path, perhaps. Ah, wait, I think I see it. Assuming that I can climb here. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. We gotta go up and over. Gotta be in good shape to do this. That almost looks like you could, like, get there and do something, but... Ho oh, ho, purple! The edge of the forest. Oh, it's a new melee weapon! An elegant yet light blade designed to bring beauty to bloodshed. Kenshin would like something to say about that. Unstoppable in the hands of a master swordsman. Cool looking. Kind of moves in the same way as the uh, spectral blade, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the same. So, 
cool, but I'm going to stick with my greatsword because I kind of need the, the bop of it. You know, the, the plus whatever I have at. Again, the, um, I was reading some more threads with the damage scaling in the game. And how, like, your numbers get bigger, but the percentage of health that it actually takes off the enemy gets smaller. <laughs> so, you might feel a little bit more satisfied, but in reality, your character isn't actually, like, progressing as far as you might think they are. Well, I'm just rolling right in there, aren't I? Oh, don't don't land there then I can't get your stuff hold on gonna move over here yes thank you nice of him to play along Glad that's over okay from here it looks like you could maybe make it but there's probably a safer option right yeah safer option right here just this nice steep hill I'm half expecting to run into one of those, uh, like, root walker dudes. The uh, little guys inside the big sticks. Just because, like, turning a corner and running into one of those would be an interesting experience here, for sure. There is... Hold on. There's something on the map. How did I... Okay. I don't know how I missed that. I do like that they put those onto the map, though. That way you like you know make sure you don't lose them and all that kind of thing. Okay, that will connect up. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay. Not missing anything. I know lots of tourists go to like Machu Picchu and all those things and such. And like that'd be interesting to do. Maybe do it as part of one of those tour groups though, just to avoid any issues. Okay. Got a little pagoda. You wanna okay, yeah, thank you. Well, I wanted you closer, is what I was trying to say. So, thanks for that. Oh, it is another one of these. Okay. Okay, hold on. I, I, I'm gonna try my, my hunch. issue that I'm going to have here is the fact that I can't see that tower because I, I feel like the symbols on that tower are probably what we need but um you know It was mostly like circular -y things. That's what it seemed like. <sighs> Maybe I should have written it down. Because the Eye of Sauron was on it. I think that one was too. And while this thing was on the grave, 
it wasn't on the uh, the tower. I think the Pokeball might have been though. Maybe not. Okay, which direction was that in? It's that way. The exact opposite of the way I'm facing this way. Yeah. So I don't suppose I could see it from the window, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Be damned if I don't try to, though. Oh, you can't. Damn, of course they put a tree in the way. All right, well, that's just fine. After all, like I didn't, I didn't step on the checkpoint, so everything is still dead, which means that I should probably be able to go and get a get a good look at it. Or at least get close enough to get a good look at it. what's on there, so. Gotta make sure we don't fall off a cliff, that's all. There's probably also like clues everywhere, but well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Oh, lad. Okay, so... Wait, do all those have the same... Okay. Just gonna take screenshots. There's nothing on that one. Shoot. And that one looks like the same as the bottom one, doesn't it? It is the same as the bottom one. So you can't actually tell what's, is it just not loading or is there, is it actually rubbed off? It just wasn't loading. Yeah, the, interesting. I don't have like a half sight or something to try to get. Okay. So assuming it's the same, it is the same kind of starting weirdo symbol. And then the, the squarish tower of Sauron with uh, the paper clip, I guess. I don't know what else to call that. Okay. Let's go see if that's the code. Because alternatively, we might have to go wander around to those other ruins and um, see if there's like maybe four graves. Because those had different symbols, so... Okay, this is all connected. We'll see if the packs will tuck can figure it out. I hope I'm doing this right. Also, I kind of wonder what you get for this. I mean, we already got a new melee weapon. Maybe a ring or an amulet. I 
I feel like a weapon probably wouldn't survive, uh, you know, being an ancient ruin for, for a long time. Okay. So. This one. The square one. No? I had it right though, right? It's... Weird paperclip. Damn. Here I thought I had something. Maybe one of the other ones is meant to be a, um, like the thing I found. No, I guess not. All right, so it's it's not the ones on the tower, I guess. Huh. So let's look for more clues. Here they come. Okay, it's probably something to do with those. Get ready, lads. Okay. All right, so we'll go with the graves instead then, I guess, as far as figuring out what's uh, what's up here. So we had the antlers, and now we have this thing, the, the stick. question is is there are the graves in specific places because I think I've only seen two I think So we've seen this one and we've seen that one. So we gotta figure out these other two. Wait, there's something purple on my map. Is it just teasing me that there is something, or...? Probably. Probably just to let me know. Um, this is probably either... It's probably going to open up a bit. Uh, I want to go down the other path because it's not the way we came in. Oh, here we go. Cool. Shortcut unlocked. And more importantly, ooh, hello. <laughs> Just getting tired of all this climbing.
Yeah, this is this is where I died before because of that stupid thing. Okay, so we need to find things. Grapes, it seems specifically, right? Let's just, yeah, okay. It's not anything special happening. Okay. Um, so I suppose one question is, is there any kind of indication that a grave is near or do we just really need to, to hunt down every last one of them? And maybe be a bit more mindful of our surroundings while we do. Because I imagine this is also randomized per, you know, the usual in Remnant. Their locations probably aren't randomized, but I mean, like, the symbols on them most certainly are. So. This is our first one. Or, sorry, well, this is a checkpoint. <laughs> And I know that I saw the first one kind of close to it. Um, so while I do this, I was watching an interesting YouTube video before I started streaming today. It was um, an interview between Airdorf, who is the creator of the Faith series, that um, like Atari looking game with the rot rotoscoping and the spookiness and everything. And uh, it was Wendigoon interviewing him, which is interesting because <laughs> apparently they both teach <laughs> teach Sunday school, which is just kind of funny. Makes sense for uh, the faith guy to do it, given everything. But also just, just funny, I think. Was it here? That's just a jump down. Okay. Here's the antler one, right? Yeah, so. Antler -y one. So those, those are the two that I already know exist. Which is not really doing me any good. So we need to just explore to find the others, I guess. They're not marked on the map either, unfortunately. But so my new working theory is that we just need to find all four graves and uh, go with the symbols on each. Probably. Is there unexplored stuff over here? Yes. And then this is where I died before because this is so easy to miss. Don't suppose there's a grave for my trouble? No. It's just a dead end. No, uh, no particular reason to go this way, I guess. Just, just a dead end. Hmm. Not even like a vantage point over to a grave or, or something useful. Nope. Well, at least my map, my map is explored.
Okay, so graves, 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 graves. So this, it looks like a little thing, but I guess it's not. I feel like it's reasonably explored. So maybe I'll head over towards the other direction. Okay. I am. There is more unexplored stuff. I just don't know how to get to it yet. Because I hear the disgusting squishy noises of the enemy. So. Um, but yeah, it's an inter interesting interview with Airdorf and Wendigoon. I haven't finished yet. Um, I'm like 20 minutes in or so. Something like that. But I got the, uh, had the itch to, can you fall off the root onto that side maybe? Uh, I had the itch to stream, so I stopped for a little bit. I mean, Yesha is quite nice when you're not being attacked by horde monsters all the time. Okay. Again, no grave there. This isn't anything special, huh? There's there's red on my map over here. So I haven't explored down here yet. Can I make that jump or It looks like there's a there's a safer path to it from there. How have I missed that this whole time? Or is there a way to it from where I am without having to backtrack? This looks promising. Very promising maybe. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. I hear an enemy. Good. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I hoped it would. But, overall, everything has still worked out, so... <clears throat> Are you protecting anything useful down here? Like, what is your, um... What is your purpose for existing here? Aha! Here we go. There's another one. So I need to find one more. I wonder if they're always going to be behind one of those uh, 
things. There's death down there. Also, sorry, my um, my friend texted me who I'm getting dinner yet. Heading to the gym. We'll probably be there in 40 minutes. That's a half an hour earlier than uh, was originally intended. So let's hope that I can figure this out by then, I guess. Also, I already forgot to want that. Oh. Okay, let me just open Explorer so I can get these screenshots out. Yep, I have four different things. Cool. So, um, give me a moment. We're just gonna do this real quick. Just, just make my life easier, you know? Okay. Uh, I think I just need to head over to that purpley area. Technically it's my right, but I don't think I can shortcut my way there, sadly. Which is quite sad. But okay, cool. Let me, um... Let's just backtrack, I guess. <laughs> Do I really have to backtrack the whole way? Probably. Yeah. They're not going to give me an easy way back, I guess. Still. Hopefully this combo. Though, again, like this begs the question of why are there symbols on the tower itself? And do they do anything special at all? So we'll get there. And I, you know, I don't think it's too distracting to have them <laughs> over there. And it makes it easier for me to have it up on the screen with OBS. Because I can just look over at the preview to, uh, to see it. I suppose I'm having to, you know, click out and cycle through a bunch of things. I hope this is worth it. Okay, so, uh, so the, the two towers. Okay, there we go. So we got this thing, that thing. That's not the right one. This one and this one. What? This one, this one, healers, and the stick. There we go. Quest complete. Because, you know, I had a quest, I guess. So, what is down here? There's goodies. So we got iron. We got iron. No scrap. <laughs> um, plenty of priceless antique vases that just destroy. Some cool 
cool books. All right. Now what is? Oh, it is a gun. Crossbow. Accurate and deadly single shot crossbow with a low sound profile. Weak spot damage bonus 115%. That's that's nice. Cool. Well, that was worth coming here for, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 I think we're good. I mean, still a little confused about. This is just a dead end, I think. Um, still a little bit confused about the the towers, to the point where I am going to quickly remnant two imperial gardens. I just want to see if um, if there's something that I'm missing here. There's stuff that only opens here in the Blood Moon, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, Talus. There's apparently a couple of things here, I guess. Um, oh, weird. The, the symbols for the crossbow are always the same. Huh. Okay. Um, there's some people in the comments here saying that the archer's arrows maybe triggered a thing, but someone else replying and telling them that's just blood moon. Um, It says that there's chests to be rewarded with her platforming to the right of the entrance. Completing a jumping area. Oh, okay. So maybe there's there's maybe a couple of things for it, I guess, but There is someone here talking about something. They say, in my run, there are two puzzles with symbols here. There's a tower at the back of the map, and below it is a secret room with another symbol puzzle. To solve it, you must step on the elevator that goes up the tower, then step off. At distance, you can see the symbols on the side of the elevator, the gaps in the tower. These symbols are the answer to the secret puzzle at the back. The symbols in the engine above are the same as the symbols dotted around the map from being on the elevator. Those symbols are for the puzzle in the tower in the middle of the map. So I must have missed that room they're talking about, I guess. So let's head back to that tower real quick because my uh, my gamer tuition was correct. Uh, which way do I need to go? I guess it doesn't really matter. They all get there, although I'm somewhat inclined to go out the right side just in case I can spy that whatever jumping puzzle was being talked about before. No, they both go. Um, I'm not above looking at a wiki for some of this stuff, especially if, like, after looking looking through an area and feeling like I'm like, yeah, okay, I think I got everything. Finding out that there's like three or four other items that exist is uh, <laughs> something to deal with, right? Okay. So we've solved the puzzle of the book, I guess. Now I just want to go figure out what's up with the tower. 
or more specifically, I guess, find find whatever um, like room they're talking about that had something to do with the tower in the first place. Because like that feels like my real issue is that I didn't see whatever uh, whatever place you're supposed to be doing stuff at. Because I have the symbols. I took screenshots of them. I did go all the way up there, right? Yeah, I must have. Right? Yeah, I think I I vaguely remember grabbing the iron from a ledge, so. I think we're good there. And then there's nothing here. It's just, it's just whatever. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if you can't get there somehow. So, almost back to the tower. Also, I will say that my um, my initial goal of kind of feeling better <laughs> has been accomplished with the accomplishment of doing these puzzles and things. Because I was quite irritated about something that uh, a couple put air quotes around friends we're doing yesterday so okay oh wait so they mean around backers and like this way no what do they mean around back is that a is that you can't actually get there right Did I miss something? Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything down here, right? No. Just scrap. Okay. Let's try going up again. Maybe I missed um, like an input or something of that nature. Doesn't feel like it. Really doesn't feel like it. Huh. This is the most confusing thing to me. There. No. Alright, one moment. I want to look at this um, thing again. See, it says there's a tower at the back of the map, and below it is a secret room with another symbol puzzle. What do you mean below it, though? Oh, it's bullshit. That's what it is. Where 
by here. So, anyone see anything special about this? <laughs> really no indicator. All right, anyway. Um, so, real quick. Well, actually, I actually kind of remember these, but let me refresh my memory real quick. All right, this is the the one I was doing before. So there is the this one, the paper clip as I called it. Uh, this one I think, and this. Cool. I hate hidden walls so much. Well, this looks cool. The Blooming Heart. Alright, maybe this was worth doing. On use, heal for 40% of your max health over 5 seconds. It spawns 3 healing orbs, which grant 40% of caster's max health over 5 seconds. Orbs last 20 seconds, recasting removes previous orbs. That seems really good. Like, it doesn't heal as much as this one, but you get, you get regen for 20 seconds, basically, right? No. But yes. That seems really good. <laughs> that seems really good. And also if it heals your friends too, then uh then that would be something as well. Huh. Okay to look into maybe maybe using that at some point I think all right but I think I think I'm relatively happy I think there's still an item or two that I don't have um, full moon circlet so So there might there might be one or two secrets here still, but it's just death. Okay, but um, I don't think I care about them. Wait, whoa! <laughs> Gosh, thought I was going the wrong way. But it really doesn't look like anything, does it? Like it doesn't even feel that suspicious because like having two big like staircases like that, it's like whatever, you know. still i wonder if you can equip the same relics like can i have the same um like little relic bonus thing equipped on two relics because you just swap between them or is it going to be a thing where i have to like try to keep track of everything and whatnot I suppose i'll go this way so I don't know what they're talking about, about the, the jumping puzzles or what have you, but I don't think I necessarily care enough to, to try to find out. So, and I think I do need to get ready for, um, go and order my friend's place for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and sit at this checkpoint, travel back to ward 13 and then next time i play which will be tuesday um i'll do the labyrinth i guess we'll we'll go there and advance the main story that's my plan anyway um oh also before i go um the thing that i unlocked last time by defeating the world boss is this pretty cool weapon um i remember using it a lot in remnant one actually but it uh it bounces see it bounces between enemies and when you get the mod power all the way up the enemies it hits get highlighted you see that they're highlighted and then you press the mod button and they get smacked in the face so 
pretty cool. That arc crossbow. Wow. So intense weak point damage I just got first hit. I get behind that. I mean, it's not as fast as this because you have to reload every time, but still pretty, pretty cool. Maybe I'll throw this on. I have no idea what would be good with this, honestly. Melee charge checks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to choose like what to what to run on these things. I mean, I guess since this thing is good for for regen stuff, maybe just having more health than other things would be good. Solid fire rate. More revive speed, sure. There. So I'll give that a shot maybe next time. <laughs> we'll see if I actually uh, remember that I equipped it and don't just get horribly confused. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you all tomorrow for uh, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And um, yeah, it should be, should be good. So see you all later. And uh, bye for now. I don't know if I got a checkpoint or not. So I just want to try to trigger something here. Hopefully that worked. If not, then I'll be quite sad. <laughs> but anyway, take it easy, everyone, and uh, bye for now.